guys, it's Kugel again with another ROM review, and this time I've got ProBam KitKat version V1.1. So, ProBam has already moved into KitKat, and as of now, it's not the same ROM which we remember, okay? Uh, the previous ROM, that is 4.3 version, was a ROM of a mixed uh, kind of thing. It was one of the best mixed ROMs available. This one is more of a CM based ROM. It doesn't have any elements from other ROMs because possibly because it is not it, they have not been moved to 4.4. So uh, that aside, this is one hell of a ROM. Uh, this is CM based, so you have all the CM functionality with a few extra functionality too. So what you are seeing here is the um, CM equivalent of the. Uh, experience launcher because this does have two launchers uh, the launcher 3 is the CM equivalent I guess it's a new launcher which mimics the experience launcher and uh, the experience launcher also so you are not uh, far off in that let's go to settings it does have quick settings extra etc things Let's go to about phone. In about phone, you can see it is Codex uh, Advanced Web Solution. This is the developer who has uh, program. You do have program update. You it can you can check for update, etc. You do have a program updater app which checks for the latest version, etc. Status like how many people are using it, etc. This is based on Android 4.4.2, which is the latest version. So you do have that. Uh, kernel is 0.64, etc. KitKat version 1.0.1 this says 1.0.1 but this is actually 1.1 which is the latest version uh, released yesterday so yeah you have that science and mod version is 13 12 2013 an official version build date in uh, the developers language etc build number this one uh, SE Linux status enforcing whatever so that's the about phone page for you um, what does this have in difference with the official Cyanogen mod releases? Cyanogen mod does not have Halo, first things first. So this one does have Halo functionality. So I have enabled Halo, I guess. Uh, yes, I have Halo enabled. It does work. Uh, previously, BAM ROM and uh, ProBAM series, both of them were similar in everything. Now, BAM ROM, I have made a review of BAM ROM previously. You go check that out also. So, BAM ROM and this one does seem to have a lot of differences now because this is pure CM based. Uh, BAM ROM does incorporate a bit of AOKP functionality too. So, yeah, that's there. Uh, for the extra functionality of program, let's see. You have home button because of uh, multiple home screens. Lock screen, you do have a few options. You have quick unlock, widget pager, maximize widgets, clock widget, that is C clock uh, from Cyanogen Mod. Slider shortcut, that's something which uh, is pretty awesome. You have that. Now you have theme support also, which supports all the uh, Science and Mod themes, which are many, many. I do use a theme myself, so it's really helpful. Status bar mod. Now interference tweaks. These are not as full fledged as uh, BAM series ROMs. This is uh, the it's kind of similar to the official cyanogen mod if you have seen the video of that uh, it's kind of similar there's nothing more in that let's go to status bar you have a stylus the, the status bar st battery icon style you I have enabled the circle you can have circle with percentage or just the icon or none at all you can have that quick setting bell is full flesh you have all these options available but Apart from uh, the quick setting style, like you can't change it to uh, four four way tiles, like uh, it was available in Slim ROM. So that's something of a glaring omission. But you do have options to select what all tiles appear, etc. So you have all these options too. Um, what else does this have? Uh, the quick setting panels are similar to whatever else is available quick setting ribbon is available you do have the ribbon here which you can link to the quick settings or you can have a custom layout for that um expanded desktop is kind of like using uh pi uh things it doesn't have pi but you can have expanded desktop uh in the power menu it will enable it here so you don't have the status bar anymore so that's one pretty cool thing which can you uh, you can use 
Halo settings again it is Halo 2.0 it does have ninja mode uh, everything so that's pretty cool uh, then those things again it do, uh, something which I uh, think is hilarious is that it doesn't have an Halo on and off switch here it does just has that one and if I think I should uh, swipe it from here it will come back right and I think I have to close it and enable only from status bar I don't know why that is uh, it should have had a enable button here I don't know uh, yeah that's there and now something which is different is that in uh, this option you have exposed frameworks in display and lights you have exposed frameworks uh, in build like integrated you have exposed frameworks in module you can install that I haven't installed that I just Flash it again so that I can show you guys in the review. Uh, product settings uh, such as the like that of FPA, Paranoid Android ROM, and Netflix workaround is in build so that you have uh, you can have Netflix on Exynos 4 devices uh, on as AOSP 4.4 4.4.x. So yeah, that's there given there. I guess my country doesn't have Netflix, so that's that that doesn't really uh, bother me. So that's that. Uh, apart from these things, it's pretty much a Cyanogen mod ROM. It doesn't have much, much uh, different things from that. Uh, it is a good ROM, yes. Program series has been uh, known for its stability and uh, things like that. So I do appreciate the stability factor which program series ROMs give me. So that's pretty cool. Um, it, it does. It is a 300 meg ROM, so that's a bit huge for a AOSP based ROM. Uh, that's because it does contain all these apps. I haven't flashed anything else. It does have G apps, but uh, for some reason the uh, Google account manager, I guess that thing which you after you flash the ROM, flash a new ROM, the thing which uh, asks for your uh, Google credentials, it doesn't come up. You have to go to settings and uh, add an account yourself. So I don't know why that is. There, sh uh, there should be a setup process there. Uh, but you you do have the uh, Play Store and uh, Google Apps already installed, so that's there. Uh, apart from that, this is pretty much a Cyanogen ROM. Let me show you guys the boot animation, which is pretty awesome. So here is the boot animation with the KitKat-ish Android spinning around and things like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, it has four screens, I would say. One with codex, the developer's name, then KitKat, then it shows the Cyanogen mod guy, and then it sh says uh, Proban. And I can only imagine what it would be evolved to if all the Paranoid Android, of all the Guru ROMs have been integrated into it. It would be hilariously long and awesome boot animation. I'm waiting for it actually. So, yeah. I guess that much is it about the ROM. Uh, something which I want to tell you guys, if you are trying a, for a ROM this soon to have all the functionality of the three Guru ROMs, you have to wait for a bit longer because the BAM ROM series has not done it, ProBAM certainly hasn't done it from this video. So do keep in mind that it's not possible yet because AOKP has to be moved to 4.4 and uh, Paranoid Android, I guess Paranoid Android has a 4.4 version available, but still it has to be compatible with the latest versions, and so it might take a bit more time. But hey, I'm waiting for it. Uh, it uh, it's a good thing to wait. So yeah, that's it. Uh, hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe, and like the video if you found it useful. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye.